Well, I'm hoping for a billion dollar weather week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the criteria of that though, Maddie? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> well, if it includes cooler temperatures and some rain, I have that for you, maybe. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so we'll get to that here in a few minutes, but here's a live look outside right now. Uh, again, it's a little bit on the muggy side still outside, but it's not too bad of an evening to be out there. But I thought I'd recap some of the rainfall stats so far since we are kind of in that bad drought right now. So the past seven days, we have picked up just over six tenths of an inch of rain, which is good news, but that puts us at 0.86 inches for the month of July. And you look at that July deficit, we're at 1.48. And so far this year, uh, we've picked up 10.86 inches and that is just over eight inches below where we should be so hopefully we can get some more rain over the next couple of days and there are some rain chances here they are for the week about a 20 percent chance both on monday and tuesday i think the best chance will be tuesday night and as we go into wednesday and thursday and then again a small chance once we go into friday so fingers crossed that we get some of this rain we definitely do need it. Temperatures right now 77 degrees here in St. Joseph, also in Maysville and Cameron, 80 degrees in Bethany, 77 also in Mount City, 79 degrees over there in Nebraska at Falls City. So it's a very comfortable night. Again, it's a little bit muggy out there once again, but at least temperatures are pretty nice. Now for the day tomorrow, we're going to see a high temperature of 90 degrees. And for the day planner, we're going to see temperatures in the mid 70s to start. We may see some fog early tomorrow morning once again, like we saw today. And then we'll see partly cloudy skies with high temperatures getting into the mid 80s as we go to around noon. And then once we go at around four o'clock. Here's a look at your KQ2 high res max radar. Again, it's been kind of an active pattern around us, not so much here in St. Joseph, but there's been a lot of showers and storms pretty much all south of St. Joseph. And as we zoom in on the St. Joseph area, only a few clouds trying to move in from the west, but it looks like they're not going to be bringing any rain with them. So it looks like we're going to be staying dry as we go through the rest of tonight. Your KQ2 hour by hour forecast. Again, clear skies as we go overnight tonight. And as we go into tomorrow morning, again, maybe some morning fog. And then by afternoon, this computer model, I think, is a little overly optimistic with rain chances. I think about a 20% chance for tomorrow. As we go into Monday night and then into Tuesday, we'll see much of the same thing. Maybe a few scattered showers try to develop during the afternoon. But I think the chances of that are pretty low. And it looks like we're going to stay fairly dry as we go through uh, Monday and Tuesday. Tonight, we will be dropping down to 68 degrees with partly cloudy skies and winds are going to be light out there for tomorrow morning fog partly cloudy skies a high temperature of 90 with a 20 percent chance of some rain and then as we go into the next five days we do see 80s back in the forecast which is good news uh, but then as we go into tuesday wednesday and thursday we do have those decent rain chances so fingers crossed that we get some of this rain 90s return thursday and friday and then going into next weekend it looks like a very nice weekend with temperatures in the upper 80s with mostly sunny skies. So let's just hope we get some rain while we have the chances in there because it doesn't look like after we go probably around Thursday and Friday, we don't have that much rain chances coming into our area. Okay, so, but cooler temperatures and next weekend we can look forward to that. Right, so cooler nonetheless. All right.